All throughout history, people have been told it's impossible or they'll fail, but they do it anyways. Lose in the stock market. Most traders fail. Trading is impossible. You will almost certainly fail at day trading. Most traders fail. Day trading is a complete and total scam. Day trading is a scam. 80% of day traders lose money. 80% of traders lose. You should never day trade. Is it possible for me to go from zero experience to being a successful stock market trading expert in four days? I want to prove the entire industry wrong. I want to prove my high school teacher wrong. I want to show that making money on the stock market could be easy. I wrote a report for my grade 12 math class on stock market probabilities to optimize returns. I did all right on the report, but it wasn't the grade that stuck with me. It was what my teacher said. Interesting idea, but it's not possible. It's more complicated than that. After being so excited about how this idea could make me money, I was suddenly demotivated. Who knows how this affected my future decisions? Maybe I would have been a Wall Street billionaire, but my future path was changed. Fast forward about six years, I went to university, worked many jobs, until I couldn't hold it in any longer. Those words were quietly eating me away inside. Who was he to tell me it wasn't possible? Who was he to put this ceiling above me without any explanation? I'm gonna prove him. I'm gonna prove him wrong. So now I just needed to learn how the stock market works, figure out how to hack the system, learn how to write code, and then make the magic happen. I was so motivated and determined that I did not realize what I was about to attempt was the same amount of work of multiple people who have dedicated their lives to mastering their skills. But I did it anyway. I started with what I did know. Excel sheets, Google, and some math. First up was looking into what people on the internet could teach me. It all seemed like the kind of speculation you would get from an above average eight-year-old. And then we can go ahead and circle this other leg down right here. The cock and balls pattern pretty much never failed. If I wanted to see the good chart pictures, I had to pay thousands, which was not feasible for me at the time. It also didn't make much sense having to pay a large amount of money without any information on what I would actually get, so I set off to do it all from scratch. I'm not trying to get the same performance of banks and big investment funds. 8% return in a year? That's just not going to cut it. If I'm going to prove these influencers and gurus that it can be easy, I'm going to need big returns. Big returns. I thought that a good place to start was collecting data for times where there were large price movements. Then I would have an idea of what to look for to identify if it was likely to happen again. If I specifically focused on times where there were big movements in a short period of time, then I potentially could get higher returns quicker. After the incredibly repetitive task of manually collecting stock data, and the government locking my computer multiple times to make sure I wasn't a robot, I started to get an idea of what I was doing. I managed to have the Excel sheet tell me if a stock was likely to have a big movement. And it worked well, but it wasn't quite enough. I had some data for big price movements. Now I needed a way to turn this data into money. I referred to my good friend Google who is no longer a good friend, but more of a helpful acquaintance. I had just finished spending the last 19 years of my life in school. I was not about to take an online course to teach me. Instead, I decided what better way than just trying it until I'm ready to rip my hair out before just using the internet to help me. Starting with no coding experience, I went straight to ChatGPT and then just started building things and testing it out. After a lot of messing around and learning on the job, I had a little more information coming out. I had actual predictions from a computer on how stocks were going to move using math. But this was just the beginning. I wanted to prove my teacher wrong in every way I could. But instead of using my 
old methods of manually entering every single data point, I just made more code that would collect all of the data for me. I wanted even better predictions. I wanted exact instructions. I wanted to know exactly when to buy and when to sell so that my data could actually turn into money. Some more hours of coding and staring at a screen, I was able to get a little more information. I not only had the predicted movements, but also suggested entry and exit prices so I could actually make use of my creation. I wrote even more code to link it to a broker account. I was able to take the data, turn it into a prediction with buy and sell prices, and then actually make a trade at those prices with real money. So although it wasn't through a renowned university or college, I learned about AI, machine learning, automation, algorithmic trading. 24 hours later, and after countless mistakes I made from not being an experienced coder at all, I built it. I had a thing, a thing that turned data into money. Taking a whole bunch of numbers and then using math and trades made by a computer, my account just grew. At least that's what I thought I had made. Are you sure you would like to buy with entire account balance? Nope. Executing in three. What? Two. Cancel. One. Order Stop. filled. Order filled. No. Order filled. No, Order no, no. So it turns out there were a lot of different scenarios that I didn't prepare for. I needed to go back to the drawing board, do some testing, and make sure that my computer didn't make devastating mistakes. My creation would enter way too many orders, use the wrong number of shares. What is happening right now? Why are there so many orders? And why are they all for two shares? Use completely wrong prices. That is not even anywhere close to what the price is. Why is my stop loss at zero? <sighs> make simple mistakes that a human wouldn't make. 0 0.7999999. What's wrong with eight? 0 0.8. <sighs> Just do it good. <laughs> and it sometimes had poor judgment in certain situations. Wait, why TNXP? That's not even a ticker I'm looking at. And the movement is way past. Buy at 13, and it's currently at 16. Not quite, computer. You're not quite there yet. After rewriting a lot of code and making sure my computer didn't make really bad choices, it was time to give it a test. All of my sanity and the extreme desire to prove to my teacher that the impossible is in fact possible came down to this moment. I ran my gargantuan math creation and waited. I saw the orders being entered. It bought some random stock and I was immediately in the red. I nervously watched as my losses continued to grow. Then the stop loss hit. It sold. I had just made a tool that gradually decreased your net worth automatically. Good work. I was rethinking everything I had done. What would Steve Jobs do? As I was preparing myself for the absurd coding ahead of me, I saw more orders being placed. It bought the same stock. The numbers went green. And then even more green.
it hit a profit limit, selling for over 18% return. The returns just kept on growing. It took more profits until it finally hit the stop loss. Total return, 23%. I had just watched my computer make 23% return in a few short minutes. Take that. I was riding the high of being able to do nothing and make money. You see this? You see that? I wanted to make sure that it wasn't just a fluke. So I kept running it to see if it would keep making money. And what do you know? It just kept on working. Trade after trade, my creation kept on performing. 8% in a year? How about 30% before noon? It was even able to trade multiple stocks at the same time. The result? 33 trades. Win rate? 70%. Average gain? 11%. Average loss? 3.5%. And the average trade duration? 36 minutes. So a paper I wrote six years ago, followed by five years and 360 days of nothing, and then four days of me using Google to teach me things and sitting in front of a computer for way too long, I had proven my teacher wrong. It was not impossible. It was not too complicated. It was as complex as I decided to perceive it. So all of those people on the internet saying that trading is hard and you'll fail, and it takes decades of experience and hours upon hours of looking at charts and making trades. What do you have to say now? I just took your entire profession and had my computer do your job with no experience, no back testing, and not having to draw on a single chart. And I did it in a few days. So what does this mean for you? Don't let other people limit your potential. You are much more capable than you might believe. When people tell you something is impossible or complex or hard, it is only as impossible or complex or hard as you choose for it to be. You don't need to listen to some guy on the internet tell you how if you follow trend lines and have price break a resistance level, then you'll make money. You don't need to waste your life away watching thousands of hours of analysis or follow someone else's strategy. You are the creator of your reality. Also, a shout out to my grade 12 calculus teacher. If you ever end up seeing this video, I would not be where I am today if it weren't for you. So, thank you. And thank you to my subscribers and everyone who supports my channel.